What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna talk about inventory, how to add inventory, uh, how to use the barcode with inventory, and how to uh, how to use it manually. So let's check it out. Uh, to add inventory, you will need to go to access reports and just type in your passcode. And then here's we have general inventory and tires inventory. We're gonna be talking about general inventory. Uh, click on general inventory. Uh, when you click on it, it's going to automatically list all your inventory. If you want to add inventory, you're going to click on the plus sign right here. And the first thing, if you want to use the barcode, the first thing you need to do, you need to scan uh, the barcode on the item. So I'm going to scan it. And then you can add the part number, let's say uh, 5675. And then let's say the product name. I assume it's a brake pads rear and let's say location where you have where you store in it let's say a 14 your cost 25 80 95 how much you want to sell it for let's say 45 95 um, is it taxable make sure you select your tax and is it inventory so we have a couple options here uh, if you you can add the uh, inventory as non inventory which is mean which means it's not going to be tracking uh, the stock and it will not uh, force you uh, to uh, so it will let you add uh, uh, like inventory whether you have a stock or not but inventory it will keep track of the stock which is that's the main reason for it and now we're going to add the inventory we're going to click on add inventory add a quantity how many do we need to add let's say 500 uh, critical quantity it's really important uh, when do you want to reorder so this is uh, it's, it's a, the default value for it is five um, as you we can say you know 10 and click update inventory and then click on add so by doing this we did add brake pads check it out brake pads rear it's right there five we have 500 on hand so uh, before we use it, I gotta talk about a couple things. Uh, when you click on general inventory, if when you're ready to restock and you wanna print that restock sheet, all you have to do is click on show restock only. And by doing so, and then click on print. So when you click on restock only, it's gonna, it's gonna compare the quantity on hand versus your critical quantity. So let's go back to the, uh, one of these, for example, and when I click on add, add inventory, you see your critical quantity is three. So it's gonna it's gonna compare the quantity on hand, which is five or five, versus the critical quantity, which is three or five or whatever you set it. And that's how I'll make it super easy for you guys when you wanna print restock inventory. You just click on click, uh, print restock inventory. It's gonna only show the restock inventory that you set it. Uh, to any critical value that you want it and click on print uh, we have a couple more options you can print barcodes for any of these inventory if you use the 30 uh, cheat uh, label um, you got to be buying this let me talk about that real quick under product we have something called barcode labels 30 sheet if you click on it it will take you to uh, Amazon and this is the, the, the it's a label so it's a sticker label so you can print all these barcodes on this label and put them wherever you want to do so keep that in mind let's go back and go to general inventory like I said you can print all of all of them at once you can print the whatever if you search for something let's say uh, a bulb so you can search whatever. So the print button, the beauty of it, it prints whatever you see. Uh, so you can print anything you see. Um, you can search not just bar barcode or part number. You can search anything. Let's say H10 bulb. I'm going to get it. It's right there. All right. So now we learned how to add inventory. Before we uh, use it, let's just see how to edit inventory. To edit any of these inventory, just click on it and uh, you can let's say this one doesn't have a barcode we're gonna add the barcode and if if i wanna let's say if i wanna adjust the number uh, to 500 somehow the inventory is all messed up just add negative five and click on update and update so we switch it to five so you can add a negative value to adjust the inventory in case the inventory is not matching what you have so keep that in mind 
anyway so let's check it out let's see how we use inventory we're gonna go to uh, select uh, an estimate open it at the bottom right here it says can jobs and inventory if you click on it and then click on general inventory again you can search anything you want by part number or you can scan if I scan it with the barcode um, it works so I can find it and then I just click on it and say I want to sell let's say one click on add and what happens it's gonna add it automatically and it's gonna track the inventory so we had 500 we only added one uh, let's go back to inventory and search for that again so it's 499 which is really cool if I did change that quantity from here to 10 and uh, it's gonna keep track too so let's just make sure of that keep track 490 so which is really cool if even if I delete it from here obviously it's gonna keep track with the inventory Five hundred. so that's the beauty of inventory obviously is to keep track of the inventory so that's how the manual way that's how you do it just go to click on general inventory you can type in and say break pads you still can see it and type in five and click on add if it's not if it's non inventory it will add it with not without without keeping track of the inventory obviously if it's an inventory it's going to keep track of the inventory um uh, there is a couple ways of adding inventory without going to actual inventory if you know the part number well first of all let's talk about scanning under part number right here if you scan the barcode it will add it automatically so you don't have to go there so i'm going to go ahead and scan it so it adds it automatically and it tracks it. Let's go back to inventory, just make sure. So yeah. So you have a couple of options. Or if I want if I know the part number, I can add it by part number two manual. So let's say the part number of this one is five six seven five. So let's go. If I type in five six seven five and I press enter, it will add it automatically too. So you have uh, three ways of adding the inventory uh, the first uh, the first the summarize that the first way is, is to click on uh, can job inventory and then click on general inventory and and search for it uh, the second way is by uh, just scanning the barcode and the third way is just by typing a part number and pressing enter so that's how you use inventory um, it's really simple it's basic uh, there's nothing to it uh, tires inventory it's the same way basically the tires inventory it's the only difference between tires inventory um, it kind of more uh, uh, more organized between brand and size remember the the two things the most important things in brand and size when it comes to tires inventory are the size like what size is it what brand is it so that's why that's a difference and you have a couple more options which is a new uh, used and recap so those two that keep that in mind um uh, that's it for today i appreciate you guys once watching until next time thanks